Hi, my name is Alonzo Cheatham. Uh, we'll be going over some knife disarms today. Uh, a little bit about my credentials. I am a fourth degree black belt in the World Taekwondo Federation. I have a first degree black belt in the World Mudo Kwan Tung Sudo Federation and a third degree black belt in the World Combat Arts Federation. Here to my left is my son, Terrell Cheatham. Uh, he's one of the senior members in our organization and he'll be helping us out today. So let's get started. Okay, the first technique we're gonna use is a, a knife to the throat technique. Mr. Cheatham. With the knife being at your throat, one of the first things you wanna remember is that if you are going to engage with it, you are gonna to have to make sure that it gets off of your throat. Uh, also, as the knife is here, we're gonna raise our hands up. We're not gonna have our hands too far away from the weapon. We're gonna just raise it straight up, but not like we're actually going after the weapon. We're gonna raise up like a submission move. Um, from here, I'm gonna take my left hand, put it over top, my right hand goes underneath. What I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately fold him into a joint lock, which actually gets his body into the position that I actually really want him in. From here, I'm going to use the web of my hand and strip the puño of the blade to strip it off. From here, I'm going to come directly back behind his elbow and I'm going to lift it, which is going to create another lock and a throw. Very simple technique. Grab the knife. A little bit faster this time. From here, my hands come up. Remember, I want to get the knife off of my neck. I'm gonna come over top, bottom, get the joint lock, strip the puño, grab the elbow, lift and throw. Okay, let's see that from another angle. From here, hands come up. Remember, get the knife off the neck. I come over top, bottom, see how the web of my hand goes to the puño? I'm gonna fold the wrist back for the lock, strip the blade. As I come back, I'm gonna hold the lock here, grab the elbow and lift and push down, and there's the throw. Get back on the other side. Let's do that full speed. Very good. Other angle. And that is the first technique. Okay, on to our next technique. Our next technique um, has to deal with the knife to the throat again. It's just a little bit different technique, a little bit more complicated, but just follow along and we'll get through it. Knife goes through the throat again. Again, one of the most important things are to get the knife off of your neck and to make sure you are not reaching for the blade immediately. Um, first of all, we're gonna start with a submissive, submissive posture. Then what I want you to do is make sure that you get the wrist and the blade off of your neck. As you push it through, I'm pulling this hand back for a palm strike and I'm going to actually bend the wrist into a joint lock. From here, I'm going to lift the hand and take his elbow and tuck it directly into the pit of my arm here, the bend of my elbow, actually. Then I'm going to pull him down into the lock. And then I am going to actually, let's turn around this way a little bit. As you can see, I have his joint locked. The knife is still there. His elbow is pointed up. My knee goes against the elbow here, and I actually pull up and break the wrist. So you can see it's very, very painful. Um, he won't be able to hold on to the knife very much. Let's try that again. Uh, opposite side, please. Knife is to the throat. Hands come up, submissive posture. I am going to move the knife off of my neck and snatch the wrist over at the same time. I'm going to palm strike, bend the wrist, raise the hand, his elbow comes into the bend of my arm. As I keep the wrist locked, I cover with the other hand, pull very hard as I twist down. He comes down, I put my knee up against the back of his arm, keeping the wrist locked and bent, and I pull up. Actually, the pull up will actually come up really high. One more time, please. Hands come up, get the knife off of your neck. Push him through, bend, come up through, put him in the bend of the arm, 
power him down. Make sure the knee is up against the back of his arm so his elbow's pointing up. Pull up on the arm. Very hard. Let's do the other side again, please. A little bit faster this time. Hands come up. Snatch it off. Palm strike bent. Come through. Take him down. Pull up. Other side again. Hands up. Off. Bend. Take him down. Pull him up. Okay. One more time. Hands come up. One, two, take him down, bend up. One of the things I want to note on this technique, a lot of times some guys have real powerful wrists. If that is the case and you take it off and you palm strike and you don't get the bend, add a little punch to the back of the hand. Then go directly back into it, finish the technique. Very good. That's the end of our second technique.